Um, first off, apologies, because the lighting is horrible. Um, but I haven't made a vlog yet today, so I'm going to do that. I'm also cleaning my longboard. Um, and I'm also sure this, because it's a million degrees in my garage. And everything in my house is in my garage right now. My couch, my table, my fridge and freezer. That stuff is usually up there, the shoes and stuff, but since I'm redoing the kitchen, that's why that is ah, work. Okay, trying to figure out how to get it set up so that you can see me and I can clean my lawn. So, the topic I want to do for today is injuries, and that's because earlier today I actually had to pick up my dad um, from the max because he, uh, he injured his leg a little over a year ago, and um, it's acting up again, and he didn't think that he was fit to drive, and this thing will not stay in place. Um, he injured his leg a little over a year ago, uh, in Hawaii. Um, he went there with my mom for the 20th anniversary. Um, and when he was down there, they were hiking or trail running or something. Anyways, he ended up falling and tweaking his leg pretty bad. Um, and I don't think he ended up letting it heal properly because he's like, I'm in Hawaii and I want to I wanna do stuff. Because um, when you're in Hawaii, you don't want to be stuck inside because you screwed up your leg. Um, he did the, well, not the same thing, but he injured himself last time we went to Haiti too when I was there also um, and that was kind of uh, we had paid off all of our debt all of his student loans and um, our cars were all paid off all our debt was paid and that was like in celebration of paying off that debt and it fell again um <clears throat> and me and him were boarding, and uh, we're just we we're going out um, into the surf further, and uh, we are wave hopping, um, and pretty much what that is is where you're swimming and you're holding your board like this, and then as a wave comes, you bring your board up and you just kind of go up and over the wave um, until you're out far enough to actually get on your board properly um, and attempt riding one. Um, and there was a particular, particular, per, that word, you know what I'm trying to say, um, big swell that came. And uh, I ended up making it over, but he did not. And his board smacked him in the face, giving him a bloody nose, and then he got uh, tumbled, um, which is pretty much where the wave comes over him and then you're stuck inside. The, that It's like being stuck inside a washing machine pretty much, um, which as you can imagine is not comfortable or pleasant or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, that's, that is that. Um, injuries. Uh, my personal injuries, I used to be, um, I used to injure myself all the time. I would constantly be 
on crutches or have a knee brace or be limping or have an arm brace or something be bleeding or stitches or I I would injure myself a lot just because I would screw around and I'd jump off tall things and miscalculate it and um, probably one of the worst ones when was when I jumped like 20 feet uh, more than 20 feet down um, a flight of stairs at uh, this retreat I was on with my church uh, and we we were doing this race um, this amazing amazing race theme where you'd go around and there'd be different things that you'd have to do. You'd go to one place and there'd be uh, like a food challenge or you'd have to throw a ball into something and score X amount of points before you could move on. And once you completed one challenge, it'd give you directions to the next challenge um, based off of X, Y, and Z. And uh, we ended up getting, or either we got the wrong directions or we read the map wrong or something. And we ended up wandering around for like half an hour. Stupid camera. We ended up wandering around for like half an hour. Um, We were super lost. And then we finally found uh, the challenge. And... Um, it was one where we had to throw balls, and, um, we had a tennis ball, and there was, uh, a bunch of buckets out in this field, um, it was like this big, huge field, probably about the size of three or four soccer fields, um, long, and maybe a football field width, um, if I remember correctly, this was... This was a while ago, um, but there was there was buckets all across the field, almost all the way across it, um, and you had to score a total. I don't remember how much, um, how many points it was, uh, but the the closer the bucket was, the smaller um, the points. The the easier it would be to get the ball in the bucket. And um, I was first up to throw. And on nearly the opposite side of this field, there was a bucket that was the exact amount of points you needed to get. And I just kind of, I just hucked it. And by the grace of God, it soared right into that bucket. I was so happy so happy, um, and everyone's like, yeah, yeah, Nigel, yeah, um, and cheering me on, and I was like, I'm king of the world, uh, and so we go to the next challenge, and, um, it's, uh, it's down, like, 20 flights of stairs, and we're all going downstairs, yeah, Going fast. We're way behind. We have to catch up. Um, and my friend was a little bit ahead of me, um, a few, like, 20 stairs ahead of me. He just jumps and, like, oh, I may be 20 stairs behind, but I can make that same jump. So I jump and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to make it. And I land, and there's a stick where I land, and my foot rolls off the stick and um, I snapped my ankle. Uh, my ankle was super, super, super broken. Um, I usually don't bruise or swell at all. Um, for some kind of proof of that, uh, here, here's a pole. Um, poles, signs and stuff, if you bend a pull back and snap it, it will hit very hard. I'm going to do that to my arm right here. And then I'm going to show I'm going to show you this arm tomorrow 
and there's not going to be any bruising at all. So um, we'll do it twice for good measure. Um, so I, I don't bruise, and that will sh be shown in tomorrow's video. Um, I have a so I have a super high pain tolerance, um, and uh, I I cried. I I landed and I was on the ground and I was just like there's kind of this like the surge of pain was so severe that I almost blacked out like everything went white and my ears wrong and I was just I was just down. I was like ah. and I just, just silently crying to myself because I was a man and I couldn't actually cry. Um and uh, they went in to do the challenge, and the person had already left because they're like, oh, they're not coming. They must have given up or something. So it's like, uh -huh. And someone used their jacket as a makeshift brace for my ankle, and we tied the jacket around my ankle along with a few sticks. Um, and that was my splint, and uh, then I can't remember if I like jumped up the stairs on one foot, hopped on one foot, because I was and am very good at that since I've had a lot of practice, or if um, someone just carried me up. Uh, I don't remember that, but I do remember um, being like arms around sh the shoulders of two other guys and uh, coming in in the front and um, like bursting through the doors and just like limping. It's like, uh, uh, my arms around these two guys and everyone just cheering us on like, yeah, you did it. Nigel hurt himself. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's that's that story, and this story isn't over yet. Um, that was super fun, but later that day there was paintball, and pretty much what I did is I spent all the way up until paintball uh, icing my foot and ankle, and it was still swollen, according to my mom, three times the size of a softball. Um, and still very purple. Um, and I, I was like, I've never done paintball before. I really want to do paintball. So it's like, oh yeah, it's, it's fine. I feel it doesn't even hurt, man. It doesn't even hurt. And I somehow convinced the nurse to let me go play paintball. And I ended up hobbling around in the forest playing paintball on a super broken ankle, um, which, like all of my injuries, miraculously healed in like two weeks. Um, like I fractured my elbow a while ago, and I fractured it uh, three days before I went to camp, on the second day of camp, so five days after the fracture, x-ray confirmed, it was completely healed. Um, so that's that's probably my most impressive injury story. Um, lots of injury stories. I've injured myself lots of times, um, but I think that just attributes to the fun that I have or try to have. And this video is really long. Wow. Um, so I'm gonna end with that. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. More content soon. Hope you enjoyed the, the little magic trick. Um, not sure if it even worked, so. Thank you. Bye. That didn't end it. Um.